What is up YouTube? All right, so the bus is missing, uh, the Thomas is missing marker lights. So, so um, I promised I had a project coming up with them. Well, here it is. Um, I originally had an idea to put some LEDs, and I pardon my mess back here, in the back side of these welding lenses. But um, it proved to be very time consuming. It, it wouldn't have cost very much, but um, time consuming, and I don't have the right tools to cut the metal and whatnot. So, uh, but anyway, so this is a Weldon lamp right here. These are there's two different versions of it. This is what I got. I ended up going with Doran. Um, they're the only ones that make a replacement for these. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same. They're the same shape, lens, and everything. Um, so. Uh, here is the Weldon bases. There's two bases here. The older one uses this 1895 bulb, and the newer one uses a 194. They're the same base. Um, I think KD may have also made some of these, because um, I noticed, I thought one of these was stamped Weldon. I don't know, I just pulled them all off the bus. So here is the Doran one. I've already taken the screw out of the lens. So it's a self-grounding unit. So it doesn't have much wire, but as you can see here, there's your two wires going, the circuit boards in the bottom of the lens. So they pretty much had the same idea that I did. Um, and then the base itself, if you look, so if I take this rubber off, this bushing that goes on the back, um, there we go. If you look, it's pretty much exactly the same as the welding unit even the holes and everything line up. So um, it's pretty interesting the way they made these. But I put these LED, this is a 50-50, um, I think it's BA-5S or BA, I can't remember, or BA-9, it's a 1895 bulb. These aren't extremely bright. 50-50 was pretty bright at the time. Um, this is a... Uh, 194 T10 base. I believe these are 2630 LEDs and they're a little bit brighter. Um, so this guy here has, as you can see, in the bottom of the lens here, you have an LED here, 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 and here. Sorry, my finger pointing sucks. But uh, anyway, so, and they're on either side. So these things look really good. I know some guys that have used these before. They said they're really good. So um, we're gonna try them out. Now, I took the shields down too because the uh, shields had been painted with the bus. So the ones on the roof here were white and the ones on the end caps were yellow. So um, I decided I would repaint them. This is a Krylon uh, metallic. I was trying to match these. I thought these were a darker color. And I do like this. It's a gunmetal gray kind of argent color, like the Ford argent. And this is what I used. It's a Krylon Fusion. It is called Metallic Dark Metal. So we'll see how it holds up. I've just given these guys a couple of coats. It's actually warm today here in February. So it's um, so it doesn't take very long to dry. It takes about 20 minutes. So I figured while I am uh, letting them dry, I'd make a video for you guys. So yeah, so I've got um, all of these Weldon lamps here. Got a whole box of them, and it was actually cheaper to buy um, to buy an extra red. They were, I want to say these guys were 13, I bought them from Midwest Bus Parts. I didn't think I would ever do business with them, because one of their salesmen was spamming our um, school bus forums on Facebook years ago, and we didn't quite care for them, but they took PayPal. Um... And so uh, it was, I think they were like 13 or almost 14 bucks a piece if you bought five or less. So now for this application, I need seven amber and five red. So it was actually $10 cheaper, believe it or not, to buy an additional red because if you bought six or more, uh, they were $8.99 a piece. So, um, so I, bought an, it, I bought seven amber and six red. So I have an extra red. You know, good to hang around, but uh, I mean, they I'll pull it out. It looks exactly the same as the, the amber bulb. Apologize, I need to 
one of these days I might invest in a tripod. Yeah, so there's the uh, the amber, and there's the red. They the only difference in these the way they look is that the Weldon one has all of its writing and recovers and whatnot on the lens, and Doran cleaned it up and just made it. You know, it's the same SAE two, P two PC four. The four must be a revision. So it says P2, PC5. Other than that, it's the exact same lamp. The pattern in the lens is the same. So I think these are going to look really good, especially with that repainted shields. Um, I will uh, show y'all uh, as soon as I get them installed. All right, YouTube. There you go. What do you think? They look pretty awesome all the way around. So they have a full pattern instead of instead of the uh, just a corner and yes i know i need to wash my roof again that really annoys me too i need to shoot some more paint up there apparently but yeah those are some great looking leds i know they came highly recommended from some friends of mine but yep so i have uh oh i got some diodes out in that uh, tail light there oh boy Looks like I need to get a new sound off lamp. But, all in due time. One will come around soon. I was going to do the side marker turn signals, but I just, I, I, I'm tired today after doing all that. What a pain in the butt, but I tell you what, that gunmetal gray, kind of hard to see, but it really looks good. Uh, let's see, if we look here, yeah, you can kind of see, it's a different look, I like it, so anyway, that's it for now, thanks for watching.